Hi, I'm Jason Green, a program manager for Microsoft. And I'd like to take a few moments to show you how to embed a Power App into Finance and Operations. This feature is available starting in Platform Update 14. If you're not familiar with Power Apps, it's a Microsoft service that allows developers and non-technical users to build custom business apps for mobile devices and tablets. You could then take a Power App that utilizes data from Finance and Operations, whether that Power App was built by you, a colleague in your organization, or someone else from the broader ecosystem, and embed that Power App into Finance and Operations to extend its functionality. As an example, we'll use a sample Power App called Package Tracker that shows the status and location of a shipped package based on a tracking number. I'm going to show you just how easy it is to embed this app into Finance and Operations. So here we are looking at a sales order, and you'll notice that I've already added a tracking number field to the sales order header. This tracking number field is a custom field that was added to the sales order page. For more information about how I added that field, please watch the video titled Adding Custom Fields in Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations. This tracking number is what we want to send to the Package Tracker Power App. The process for embedding a Power App is very similar to the process for inserting a new field on a page. First, we'll click Options and then personalize this form. Now I'll expand the Insert menu and click Power App. Hovering over various portions of the screen shows the valid locations where a Power App can be embedded. You can embed directly on a page as a new tab, fast tab, blade, or as a new section in a workspace, or you can embed a Power App into the action pane. In this case, an option under the Power Apps menu will enable you to open a side pane that displays the Power App. Your particular scenario will dictate which display option is most appropriate for you. In this demo, we're going to select the action pane. This opens a pane that allows us to configure the Power App that we want to embed. We simply need to display a caption for the pane that will open showing the Power App. In this case, we'll use the name of the Power App. The App ID for the Power App, which can be found on the Details tab for the app on web.powerapps.com the field which provides input data for the Power App, in this case, the tracking number, as well as the application size. Thin is for a mobile Power App and wide is for a tablet Power App. You can optionally configure the Power App to be visible only for certain legal entities. After we've filled in all this information, we'll click Insert to embed the Power App. A message will appear indicating that a browser refresh is needed. We'll go ahead and refresh, and then navigate back to the sales order. Clicking on the Power Apps button shows a link to our Power App, as well as an Insert a Power App option, which allows you to embed a Power App through this menu without going through the personalization toolbar. We'll click the Package Tracker button to open the side pane. The Power App will load shortly, and will show the tracking number that was sent from this record. To prove that, we'll close the pane, change records, and then reopen the Power App to verify. And there you go. In just a matter of minutes, we've shown you how you can embed a Power App into a page in Finance and Operations. For more information about this feature, see the embedded Power Apps documentation on docs.microsoft.com. Thanks for watching.